we have great respect for Coach Hunter and uh, those catamounts. You know, when you play those guys, uh, it's going to be a fight, and it's going to be a fight to the finish. And um, their preparation and how they go about things in their program is um, exemplary in uh, nature. And um, I uh, think as much of him as anybody I have in uh, coaching, um, I, uh, I applaud them. But uh, proud of uh, our guys and these two to my left that have been so instrumental, not just this year, but uh, the success that we've enjoyed. You know, uh, down the line, we look forward to coming back over tomorrow and uh, strapping it on one more time and, um, you know, uh, getting after it. This year, not even just this year, but the last four years have been great. Um, highs and lows, I mean, it wasn't always great, but to be in the position we are right now, it's that much sweeter and we enjoy it that much more, but uh, it's always been, we're not finished yet. There's always more to do. There's always more to accomplish. And uh, it's been a great ride. And uh, we play like we don't want it to end because we don't. From 1 to 15, especially the guys coming back will tell you that uh, this year was a great deal more challenging because of the standards that we had to live up to. But then again, we couldn't let those standards um, allow us to underestimate anybody along our journey here. Um, especially when we came into the tournament Saturday. Um, I mean, we played a team that we beat twice before by a good point margin. But um, if you let that during the regular season uh, allow you to determine your opponent in the postseason, I mean, you'll get beat. Um, every team is a, it's a different animal. It's a different monster in the postseason. And um, that's one thing that we've really been focusing on is um, playing every team like this is the first time we've played them and not letting anything that happened in the past determine what's going to happen in the future. The thing that uh, we really have an advantage on is poise. Um, this team this year, uh, opposed to last year's team, uh, we've been able to um, you know, fight back when the other team uh, kind of punches us in the face. Um, it happens almost every game. It's just the nature of the game. Is, uh, a team's going to make a run, but uh, with the age that we have this year on the team, we do a good job of uh, you know, just huddling up, selling everybody down. You know, I was like, that's their run. Let's make that their last run for the whole game. And uh, we've done a great job with that. Uh, team gets a run, you know, we're going to go on ours sooner or later. And uh, that's the only thing we have to focus on is um, not getting too high and not getting too low, but keeping a, a decent pace throughout the whole game. Um, pretty much what Carl said, just how much we've matured uh, this season and, and the end of last season. And thanks to Coach Young and the rest of the coaches, um, like I said yesterday, we'll be fine. And when we get, you know, hit in the mouth, we'll bounce right back and, and we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Number two down there, I, I think I don't think he scored in the first half. Um, I, I don't think any of us can appreciate. I didn't have to do it. I was a terrible player. That's a burden. Chase James Sinclair. James Sinclair is fabulous. He is a terrific basketball player and a first-class young man. Um, that's a tall order. And now I'm going to send him down on the offensive end and run him off of 13 screens, you know, moving at 100 miles an hour, um, you know. But uh, that's what we—that's uh, what we have, and the type of player that uh, that he is. But that those were those were big statistics. James did score 16, but he got there on five of 19 from the floor. It's been a long journey since my freshman year. Um, and uh, one thing that I got better at every year since my freshman year is um, not letting any kind of offense dictate the rest of my game. Um, even though my offense would be kind of poor, even the first half tonight, um, if I start to slump my shoulders, um, then uh, the rest of the team is going to see that. And if they see me slump my shoulders, um, it's a negative energy that starts to loom over our whole team, and that's just bad. So, I mean, even though I'm not making shots, uh, somebody else will. And um, as long as I get stops, that means the other team isn't scoring. So if they're not scoring and we're not scoring, uh, that's a stalemate, opposed to uh, me not scoring, me having a bad attitude. And then they score, and then they start catching up, which uh, isn't good at all. Woo! That young man's come a long way, folks. That young man's come a long way. I love him. I love him dearly. Okay, let's do it. I mean, we did all, what we did all year. Let's get it. On the best energy. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it.
Do what we do, FTG. I three, one, two, three, FTG. FTG. I'm out. I'm Elise High at the U.S. Cellular Center here in Asheville for the Men's Southern Conference Basketball Tournament. Here with me is men's basketball coach Mike Young. Coach, just won over Western Carolina tonight. How do you feel about tonight's win overall? Great. You know, it's a matter of surviving, Elise. You just got to hang in there and doesn't matter how pretty it was and tonight's win wasn't very attractive. I, we didn't handle some things very well. But you beat a quality opponent like Western, double digits, and survive and move on to the finals tomorrow uh, is, all, is all that uh, counts and I'm proud of them. And we'll look forward to coming back over here tomorrow and getting it on at seven o'clock. Tomorrow night in the championship game, you'll face either Furman or Mercer, two teams you've recently played. Do you feel any more prepared going into those games having just played them? We do have, you know, we know them. We played them last week. Um, Furman's playing really well. Mercer, we have great respect for. This will be an interesting game. Um, you know, so having seen them so, uh, so recently, will help in our preparation, but but Elise, I mean, it's a matter of coming over here and, you know, making the right plays and defending uh, well and rebounding well. And, you know, if we do that, you know, I don't care who we play, where we play, you know, we're going to put ourselves in position to win, and we'll certainly expect to do that tomorrow. Coach, last year you had the same position, having just won the semis, heading into the championship game. Are there any superstitions that carried over from last year into this year? I've got several I can't share with you, Elise. Um, you know, no, not really. I just, uh, it is just a ball of nerves uh, now until game time, but I do take great uh, comfort and relief in uh, the guys I have in uh, our Wofford uniform. Um, they're going to be excited. They're going to be ready to play. Uh, we're going to do it the right way as we have all along, and I look forward to Look forward to seeing them go at it again. How do you keep the ball of nerves under control until the game tomorrow night? Uh, you know, I, I'll take a couple of walks. Um, you know, just do everything I can to immerse myself in the game and what we're going to see and how we're going to guard it. Um, but uh, 7 o'clock can't get here quick enough, you know, once the afternoon hours come along. That's a, that's a long part of the day for me. Well, Coach, congratulations on winning the semifinals tonight, and the good luck tomorrow night in the championship. Elise, thank you very much. You were terrific defensively. Uh, we didn't. Um, we did. I, yeah, we played a lot better than that. Uh, but um, we did what we had to do against a good ball club, and uh, to win that thing, you know, double digits. And um, I'm proud of you. We got one more of the promised land, man. One more. One more. Sir. I don't know who we're playing, but we will come over here tomorrow night at 7, and we'll have the best team. The best team's got to prove that yes, when the thing goes in the air. Okay? But you guard like you've guarded these past two nights. Heck, you guard like you've guarded since November when we went to Stanford. All right? We'll win. We'll find a way to win. I'm proud of you. I'm appreciative of you. Right here. Let's go. Right? Nice shot. T! One, two, three. T. T.